Hello, Sam Newman. Yeah. At Paul Vaughton, that is extraordinarily humorous stuff. No wonder you're a multi logie winning presenter. I'll send down the logie in a couple of weeks, Sam, just to get a look at it, see what one looks like. What's mate. it look like, Pat? What does it look like? We haven't seen one for years, not since Eddie <laughs> left. Now, what's your take on all this, Sam? What are you doing down there? You're buying rugby league players to help you gain. Well, Fat, uh, just wondering how things are since the storm settled down. How is life after the storm up there? You know, it's going all right. The storm is sort of, they're going to run last and we're not too worried yeah. about them. We're more worried about yeah. AFL pinching our players, Sam. Well, that's right, Fat. Seeing as you've cancelled one of your uh, franchises down here, we, I suppose the players have decided they'll see if they can earn some real money playing in front of real crowds down in Melbourne. But is your, is your game well, going that bad that you need rugby league players to, you know, boost it? Well, we've got to top up a couple of extra sides, Fat. Don't forget this. West Sydney's coming in and the Gold Coast and uh, we're just, there's a dearth of talent down here at the minute. So we're looking to every port and any storm and Israel Falu might fit the bill along with Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, mate, you, got it. you nearly right. got it. But, uh, uh, tell me this. He was the stable mate of Big Falu, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, 1969 Caulfield Cup, I know. Now, well listen, done, well, you've paid him $1.5 million a year. You're, you're the, the yeah, very well. best players in your game, we're talking about Chris Judd, Gary Ablett, they're earning what, 700, 750? Fat, let me tell you something. Uh, you are a uh, multi. Logie gold winner or whatever, and I know how much you get, and you are uh, topping the pay salary at Channel 9. But I don't worry about that because I'm satisfied with the amount that I get. I'm living in a bed sitter at the YMCA, I drive a 280B Datsun, and I'm very, very happy while you are up there, the king of the world. So don't worry about what other people earn, it's how you're going yourself. So don't worry about Israel for Lou. <laughs> Marketing ploy. You know that, Fat. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling the story. Well, it is. It's a marketing ploy, and uh, any small edge that the AFL can get for people to transfer codes, I think all's fair in love and war. At least we're stopping people drifting over to the soccer network, anyhow. <laughs> Just on yourself, Sam, what's been the latest uh, bit of face work? Any. Uh... <laughs> There's not a wrinkle anywhere. You're 68, there's not a wrinkle anywhere. Uh, I tell you what, the only place there is a wrinkle, Fat, and that's just uh, been retired about five years ago, that particular <laughs> part of my body. But Fat, at least I don't have to sneak my bifocals on in between ad breaks to read what's coming up next. Sometimes we catch you just whipping them off. <laughs> Not yet. Anything no, else no, to say? Now, seriously. Now, seriously. Yes. Israel Falalu, whatever you like to call him, won't he be all right? And won't Carmichael Hunt be okay? Well, well the thing with Israel. Le let me tell you. Let me ask you this question. In AFL, what's the most important thing? Would it be to kick the football? Well, only a short distance. We're only kicking at short distances these days. <laughs> Uh, well, fat, we're not sure. Fat, uh, Israel, fat, Israel's kicked the ball ten times in the last five years. We're not sure how good a kicker he is. Fat, fat, listen to me, man. I presume Israel is partially educated. He's got a coach up there called Kevin Sheedy. Uh, the balls are similar shape to the one you use. I mean, how hard could it be to actually drop the thing onto your foot and kick it to someone in the same colour jumper? How, how hard would that be, Fat? <laughs> Even, even a rugby league player could do that, Sam. All right, uh, how's, the, how's the love life? Anyone? Something? How old is she these you days? Think? 18, 19? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. no. I've, uh, I've uh, retired from that sort of business, uh, yeah, Pat. I can't be completely. bothered anymore. Nothing. I, I have. I, I, I have. I'm not going that well. In fact, <laughs> any, I'm just looking around at this stage for a man, woman. Uh, Jason Ackermanis has laid the trail down for me. <laughs> I'm looking in all directions as we speak. All right. I can suggest the blue pills for you, Sam. They'll help you. <laughs> Sam Newman, you are a star. Thank you, sir.
Thank you very much, Pat.